Good evening folks and welcome to Robbie King Golf. Uh, tonight folks we're going to have a quick look at the pitch shot. I'm going to play two shots for you here. Uh, first one as you can see um, I'm playing with my 60 degree wedge. Um, it's a shot that's going to be roughly about 20 yards. Um, as you can see the ball is well back in my stance, hands well in front of the ball. Uh, the reason for me playing the shot like this folks is it's a way in which I, I see quite a lot of my pupils playing the shot um, and also how I used to play the shot as well as a youngster. As many of you will know, um, I really struggled with my short game for a long period of time. Um, I developed the yips um, and a lot of that obviously coming from this poor technique. Um, with the ball so far back in my stance, I was always going to get steep. Leading edge was always going to dig in uh, to the ground which caused a lot of those fat shots and then I was kind of trying to pull up out of the shots, maybe causing some thin shots as well. Um, <clears throat> as you'll see as I come down in the impact as well where my uh, shoulders are pointing well right of the target, it was part of an issue is where I wasn't really rotating through the ball, um, where I then started to kind of flip the hands as well. So led to a lot of problems for me in the short game. Um, I've been working quite a bit on my short game as you'll see coming up here, I'm changing my ball position here, ball more forward in my stance. Um, what I've done here is I've, after watching a great video by a chap called Andrew Rice, uh, the video called The Wedge Project. <clears throat> in this video, Andrew explains that the optimum loft to get maximum spin is roughly about 45 degrees. Um, and I've found that with my 60 degree, I'm trying to get close to that magic number. I had to really get the ball back in my stance and my hands forward and that's when I was fine, I was spinning um, uh, or getting the maximum amount of spin but obviously it was really, really uh, hindering me in terms of ball striking um, and this was causing a lot of my problems. So now with the 52 degree, <clears throat> I find that I can get the ball forward in my stance. Um, this helps to shallow out the angle of attack. Obviously with the 52 degree, I don't need to get as steep uh, to try and get close to that magic number. Um, but the ball forward my stance has really helped me to keep rotating the body through, as you'll see here coming at impact, where my shoulders are now aiming left of the target. As be Whereas before we know with the 60 degree my uh, shoulders are aiming right at the target and that really told me that obviously my upper body isn't rotating at all, uh, which I now know is obviously the secret to, to the short game is really need to keep rotating through the ball. Coming up here we see a comparison of the, the numbers I've recorded in Trackman. With a 60 degree, I was getting up 1700 RPMs of spin, um, with a launch angle of 34 degrees, maximum height at 8 foot, um, to ball carrying 15 yards and stopping at 23 yards with a landing angle of 36 degrees. Now going to the lower lofty 52 degree wedge, I was getting over 2000 RPMs of spin, launch angle of 37 degrees, total height 9 feet, carrying 15 yards and stopping at 21 yards. Uh, with a landing angle of 40 degrees, so overall uh, a higher launch, higher ball flight, with more spin, stopping quicker uh, with a lower lofted club. 